Hey, welcome once again to our channel, guys. Real Life and Molly here, bringing you another recipe today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel as yet, please hit that subscribe button below. Also, hit the bell icon for notifications. Every time you upload a video, you'll be notified. You'll be the first person to know. So, click those two buttons there. Today, we're going to be doing a fried fish recipe for you guys. And here we have some bangamiri fish here. These are the larger ones we're going to be frying today. So we're going to be using some scallions, salt of course, some garlic, fine thyme, and pepper if you use pepper. And that's about it. So let's get started guys. So we have four large size bank berry here as you can see. So okay Molly's going to wash our fish here. And if you had a smaller bangamiri guys, you could just fry them whole like that. But since this is the larger ones, we're going to cut them. So what we usually do with these large ones here, we cut the tail off and then just make two fillets of these here. This is not the one that usually goes with dollar rice. The one that goes with dollar rice is seasoned different. Uh, we're gonna do that one, but that's gonna be in another video. The reason why a dollar rice tastes so nice with a fried fish is because it's seasoned different. So after doing all of that, now Molly's gonna wash this with some lime. So for fried fish, my friends, your seasoning needs to be ground, so we're going to pound it in this mortar here. If you have to use a blender for this here, you have to add water and then it just dilutes it when it's just a little bit. So it's better to use something like a mortar here for this, in this case. So that's the time she's adding there now. So before you season your fish guys, you want to pat them dry, you want to get them as dry as possible. Patting them with a piece of paper towel will do the trick there. So first thing Molly is adding there guys is some black pepper. And you add as much as you like. Some salt. And as always guys, 
The list of ingredients and measurements will be on our website at realniceguyana.com. So of course you want to distribute your seasoning on all the pieces, rub it in. And it would be better for you to do this like about half an hour before you're ready to fry your fish. So that it soaks in a bit. Pan here which is hot already. And our fish is all seasoned as you can see here. So this is the most common way you test your oil to see if it's hot. You drop some flour in there. And if it sizzles like that, it means your oil is hot. So we're ready to go here now. So we have some flour here, just some regular all purpose flour. That she's gonna coat this with. And that's all you need for frying your fish. Okay guys, so it's been about 5 minutes now and we're gonna flip these babies over here. Okay guys, so our fish is done frying there. Molly's gonna take them out here now. So this batch here is done guys and it's looking good. Okay guys so that's it for our fried fish here and this is what they look like here. They're all done. There you go. Our fried bangamiri. Hope you enjoyed this recipe guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Click the bell icon so you get notifications every time we upload a video. 
please share this video also and as always thanks for watching take care bye